Testing. Testing. Welcome back, everybody, to Goldsboro, North Carolina, Carolina Tour Championships. And that stop on the Great Southern Billiard Tour. I'm David King from Cincinnati, Ohio, here to do a match between Shannon and Dalton and Johnny Archer on the one-loss side. Shannon Dalton has won the lag and is about to have the opening break. Shannon has pocketed a ball on the break and has uh, come up with a nice shot. 21 miles an hour, 21 Shannon has just broke the balls at 21 miles per hour there. 21.59 to be exact. It's going to be an even race to 13 games. Looks like Shannon's just going to pocket the three in the bottom right hand corner, bounce out one rail. I came two rails. Perfect position for the four ball. This broadcast is being brought to you by InsidePoolMag.com. We are in Goldsboro, North Carolina. This has been an absolutely great venue this week. And Shannon Dalton just made an uncharacteristic error there. Uh, sort of jumped up a little bit on the five ball. He has not left Johnny the easiest of shots. We'll see what Johnny Archer elects to do. I do believe Johnny will get out here if he pockets the five ball. Quite possible that uh, Shannon Dalton might have been sharked when he tried to pocket the five ball. Johnny's made a very nice shot on the five ball there. It's fallen absolutely perfect on the six. He'll just bounce out one rail, shoot the eight ball in the same corner pocket. And the first game is going to go to Johnny Archer. And Johnny Archer will be breaking the balls. Johnny's been playing quite well this tournament. It 
tell you what a funny thing is out there, guys. Uh, the last couple matches uh, I did commentary for Johnny on, uh, when he makes a ball on the break, he seems to get hooked by the seven ball quite often, and I believe it has done him so like that again. Uh, it's rather interesting. Johnny Archer's brake speed was 21.29 miles per hour. Quite impressive. So what did you think about your uh, match win? What did you think about your match win there, Brian? Uh, I started off, I struggled pretty bad, but uh, I felt like I played pretty decent at the end. Uh, I made a, uh, I felt like I made a few pretty good outs uh, there late. But, yeah, I definitely struggled to start with. I, I was feeling a lot of pressure, really. Yeah, I saw you got upset there about the, the hit, and that's understandable under the pressurized situation, so. I was pretty positive I made a good hit. It was just the angle that uh, Johnny's actually going to jump the guy that was calling it. Uh, made a great shot. He, he could not draw as good as I could from behind. Ball. So I definitely thought I, I made was, a good uh, hit. Play a knife here, the two ball it didn't cost me anything, rail. so it's all right. Everything's fine. So your next match is going to be the winner of this match. Well, actually, um, it'll be the winner of this match will play Alex, and then I'll play the winner of that. Assuming they have to beat me twice, yeah. yeah all, most of the time, I'll check to make sure, but I believe all the events are double elimination for sure. They usually are, but I don't think this is a special one, but yeah. yeah. So uh, I feel pretty good. I'm breaking the balls good. I feel like I'll, I feel like I'll play well. So. All right, well, good luck to you. Thanks. Johnny went for a bank there. Uh, it's rather uncharacteristic of Johnny Archer to shoot a shot like that rather than play it safe. Uh, It is a double elimination, he says. All right, people out in the cyber world, I'm going to be joined by uh, Brian White, who has just uh, defeated Alex Olinger uh, to take King of the Hill. Brian will be uh, joining me uh, momentarily. Hey guys, how are you? Brian, what's going on today, bud? Looks like you're playing pretty good. Uh, in spurts. I feel like I'm breaking them pretty good. I just got to playing good in spurts and making a mistake or two here or there. As we talk about mistakes, uh, Shannon Dalton just made a uh, pretty big mistake himself. He had a two ball. Hey, straight Mike, how's it going? Uh, missed it straight in. He's, fortunately, he's uh, hooked Johnny Archer. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. All right, guys. I'm, I think I'm going to run and grab something to eat before these final few matches. Okay, so Johnny here, kicked here we one are. rail. Uh, he has left Shannon a shot. Who are you picking in this one? I'm picking Shannon. I'm going to have to go with Johnny. Shannon is absolutely exhausted and is uh, showing some signs of uh, fatigue. <laughs> I've never seen Shannon get so exhausted that he can't play jam up. I know he didn't want to bump into that seven like that, did he? He has made a couple uh, big that was errors error this there. game. You know, this I is guess the third uh, error he's made this game. Oh, 
Oh, he's doing he has a lot. To be he's... careful here. He might get hooked on the eight ball. No, he's going to clip it right. Okay. Roll this in, stop right there. He sort of fired it a little bit. Worked out nicely for him. Dog, dude. See, it's. I'm not understanding why uh, he is shooting quite that hard. I'll tell you uh, what, Shannon's looking a lot. A lot in worse shape than I saw him earlier. That's why I instantly called it for Shannon because he, you know, I saw him playing so great. I think he is just uh, honestly wore out, Alvin. Uh, Must be, man. Must players out be. there, I can let you know. I, I've idolized my game after Shannon Dalton for many years now. Man, I love uh, Shannon's game. He's awesome. Johnny just selected to bounce out to the center of the table and take pretty much a simple position on the nine, not try to get cute with it and get straight in. We know Johnny's not pretending. Johnny has come in, played his match, and left every time. He goes, gets a little bit of rest, gets some food. Yeah, and our score is going to be two games to zero in favor of Johnny Archer. I want to follow our Ustream channel too, Inside Pool Mag, and our YouTube channel, Inside Pool Mag. Got some pretty awesome. All these videos will be on there. Probably have about 30 videos from this tournament. One pocket, nine balls, some awesome stuff, man. I've seen some amazing games here. We've got some action. We've got Absolutely. Some games. Uh, I myself was in a little bit of action on the feature table. Uh, can't wait to actually get a look at myself playing for the first time. Well, our the loyal mastermind JR will get all those up as soon as possible. He's been busy. That's a great break from Shannon Dalton. He has come up with a shot on the two ball. Shannon's shooting 667. Archer's 800. Shannon just hit those balls 22. at almost an even 23 miles per hour. Been a very nice shot on the two ball following on sure the three did. ball. He'll he'll get it back together. He has a couple options. This guy's here. a trooper. He can bounce man. out or he can roll forward. I believe he'll just uh, spin out. Shannon's a trooper. We want to thank ProPool.com for doing the stats for us. Shannon's at 667. Johnny's at 800. Again, we're here in Goldsboro, North Carolina for the 2010 Great Southern Billiard Tour Championship. Baby. Fast Eddie's. Fast Eddie's Bar baby. Grill. Come a little bit farther than what he'd like there. I think he's going to be just fine. And Shannon Dalton will win game number three. He's all happy now. And that leave our score. He's all happy. He is walking around all happy, smiling. 
Are you picking up a southern twang in your bo- on your voice since you've been here? Let me hear. Ah, uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. You're on the wrong one. And hit the minimize. No, not the minimize. The other one. The middle button. Not that one. No, 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 no. Johnny Archer just hit those balls at 21.51 miles per hour. Thanks to Mike Basha for doing that for us. Absolutely. Mike is an excellent individual, uh, wonderful graphics designer. Johnny's just going to draw out to the side rail and back over for this. We might elect to follow the cue ball down two rails. She has done nicely. We'll have a nice shot on the three ball to come down one rail on the five. Now the six ball is in a little bit of a difficult position here. Being below the nine ball on the bottom rail. We'll see what Johnny likes to do here. He's going to draw the cue ball straight back and get on his left side of the nine ball. Oh, he's actually bumped the balls. safe here. And he has left Shannon Dalton the shot. Shannon bears down, misses the ball completely, pocket completely. I was looking away, I didn't know if he was playing the safety there or actually going at the ball. We were both typing and doing different things. Yeah, there's a few things to do when we're doing this live streaming here. Quite a few. We're always busy. Let's see what shot Johnny elects to go with here. I like thinning the six ball over behind the nine and bringing the cue ball two rails down table. Be interested to know what's going on with the. Uh... Okay, so. I still don't know if he was playing a safety on that ball or if he was actually going at the pocket. He missed it. It looked like he swung. I, I looked right when he swung at the ball and he missed the top. But he, he played a, you know. I think he was probably going at it. Johnny's sure going to go at it. And did we find out if this is going to be a uh, double elimination yes. final? Yes, double elimination final. So it should be a... Johnny a shot the shot that I predicted he would shoot. Uh, putting the six off ball behind the nine, coming down two rails. And that was really just the more simple of the two safety options that he had.
Shannon has a couple of options here. Got Marge here sweating the action. How are you doing, Marge? Doing great. You're anxiously watching this match, aren't you? I am. It's a good match between two players, and obviously I'm a little partial to who I want to win. But, um, he was able to jump you know, Johnny's a tough ball. competitor, and he always has been. He's a great player. Right All right, well, thank you. You're doing a great job here for everybody. Oh, thank you very much. You guys are, too. So we're going to watch, and she's going to watch, and we're going to watch the action unfold here. I'm rooting for Shannon. I think Shannon's going to win. I've been right two in a row now. Two in a row. Johnny made a great hit on that ball, and uh, he's left Shannon a, not an easy shot. Uh, he does have a cross side bank. Or he does have a fairly simple safety. No, he was comment. They're asking if we're getting the dual audio feed, and uh, no, Marge was talking in a in a secondary microphone. Bank. Made a very nice shot. And David was talking as well, so you heard two different people. I like Shannon's new cue. That thing's slick. That is an Andy Gilbert custom cue that was made specifically for Shannon Dalton. He designed it. The cue's in the value of around $17,000. It's an amazing cue. I'm going to try to get a picture of that and put it on my Facebook before. Shannon went for the cross side on the seven ball, and he's playing bank pool to get out. Nice. I'm telling you, Shannon's nobody to play with right now. He's, he's been hitting him great all weekend. Obviously. Larry Neville gave him a little problem this weekend, but uh, he swung back at Larry. and Our score right now is going to be two games each. Should be getting some new stats here pretty soon. Hopefully the stream's good for everybody. It's clear. Enjoying this event with us live here. Got a little live pool. Goldsboro, North Carolina. It's been nice uh, getting to hang out with you, David. I've been, you uh, as well, Alvin. You as well. You're a good worker, and you do, you're do you learning fast and doing a good job with us here. So definitely be bringing you back. For I am sure, looking forward buddy. to it. I am looking forward to it. We do Super Billiards Expo, too, so... Maybe we can get you on the team there. Now, the Super Billiards Expo, that is Valley Forge. Right. Do you go to that one? I have never been there. No way, man. Have never been there. I streamed two tables this year. Inside Pool did. Ran two different video crews. Pretty crazy. Okay, so Shannon's at 760. Johnny Archer is at 882. And we watch the action unfold. Okay, we got 24.28 miles per hour. Mr. Bosch is on the radar gun. Hitting it a little hard. Hitting it a little hard, he says. Mr. The Cannon here. What's he gonna do? He's just going to shoot this ball and draw back about a foot and a half or so. Look different from the other angle. Actually, he drew back to play for the side pocket. Interesting choice. Shannon is playing quite well now. He is uh, getting it in gear. Shannon 
Shannon's taking care of business. Acronym TCB. And he is going to go up three games to two. Looking around the room here, we got some spectators. We got uh, Nick Barner still playing shots over here. I think he's trying to. Okay, so we're going to watch Johnny step up to bat. And we'll get you some new stats up here directly. That's a nice break by Johnny Archer. He has pocketed four balls. Nice. That break was uh, 21.69 miles per hour. Eight twenty four for Dalton, eight eighty two for Johnny Archer. That's the new stats. We're gonna update you here right quickly. We're uh, updating. Here at Fast Eddie's. Cool little pool hall. Stop out here. It's right off seventy. Goldsboro, North Carolina. Good crew of people here. Had some heavy duty players. And Johnny has made quick work of this rack here. He's going to tie this game up, this match up, at three games of each. Ten key calculator, it's easier. There you go, good job. David's doing good here. Stepped in. He's at the actual captain's chair of the video production. He's doing quite a good job putting in stats and helping me out here. Glad to be here, Alvin. This has been a really great time for me. Good, you're doing good too, man. Everybody appreciates you out there. I know they do. Nice break. Sloop, sloop, sloop. What's next? Oh, a couple more are going to crawl in the hole. And there's another break where four balls were pocketed. Wow. Two in a row. And that break was at 24.40 miles per hour. It's amazing. I want to get Mike's comment after each break. I want your first reaction when you come back to each break in, in like two words. <laughs> I think each time it's going to be something along the lines of sweet Jeebus. <laughs> so whenever he steps up here to show me the score, I'm going to have him say some funny little catchphrase for you. And while Shannon is uh, making quick work of this rack, I want to take this time to say hello to my mother, my son Dakota, who will be watching at home. As I will be back, flying back tomorrow night. Up, up, and away. And Shannon Dalton is going to take game number seven. It's going to be four games to three in favor of Shannon Dalton. Bada bing. As my good friend Rocky from Capones would say. You guys got to check that place out down in Florida, Capone's Billiards. Awesome guy, Rocky, runs that place. Well, that's where uh, Corey Dool's the uh, house pro at. Yeah, Corey's a real good friend of mine. And I uh, did some video work down there a couple summers ago with him and Rocky. And they treated me really good. And let's see what Johnny Archer likes to do here with his break.
Johnny's made a nice break as well. And has a shot. It's a rather long shot on the two ball. Okay, 22 on the mile per hour break. 22 perfect, he says. Johnny said he likes to keep his break between 21 and 22 on these kind of tables, so he's doing exactly what he said he would. Shannon, on the other hand, likes to hit him about 23, 24. Nice. Johnny's made a nice shot on the two ball. Good job, Mike. I want to hear something like bling blam or something like when he smashes him. Kablooey. Kablooey, yeah. We got to get some kind of reaction. Kapow. Okay, I like that one. We're having fun here, aren't we, Dave? We're having a blast. <laughs> Man, I have had so much fun. And the after celebration tonight's going to be great. Oh, mm. man, I'll be, yeah, it's, man. I want to take another time out to wish you a happy birthday. This is Alvin's 34th Yeah, birthday. thanks, man. Yep. I've been doing this for pool a long time, man. I really enjoy it. Thanks to JR for having me here. Got to thank JR, man. Absolutely. He is we have the to man. thank JR. JR Calvert is absolutely wonderful. He is the man. Awesome dude. Awesome dude. Johnny's made a nice shot there. He has a perfect angle to come around. Two rails for the seven ball in the side pocket. Well, he could elect to draw to the side rail. Uh, I like the two rail angle and that going forward. Two rails around a little better. That's what he has done. Johninski. And he'll just draw out a little bit. He's Shoot the eight ball in the corner. Boy. A Georgia boy. Hey, old Johnny. Hell of a good golfer, too, from what I've heard. Uh, yes, Johnny is a scratch golfer. I heard Earl's pretty good, too. My Earl personal plays hero. Uh, very good golf. Earl's my hero, man. Yeah, we're going to be doing the one-hole match. We got some some really good action on the uh, chat room. We have uh, quite an impressive amount of number of viewers. I'm not going to say how many, but it is multiple, multiple hundreds. High. We want to thank everybody out there for checking it out. Uh, I'm Alvin, and this is David King, and we're here commentating with you on this match with Shannon at Goldsboro, North Carolina. The Great Southern Billiard Tour. Oh, right in the hole. Reinventing, reinventing the Carolina Open Nine Ball One Pocket Championships. Yeah, Shannon's not going to be happy with that. He could give Johnny the match here. I've seen one ball lose a match, so I know we're low in the score. Kapow. 22.86 miles per hour. 23.86. 23.86. 23 Kapow, he says. Fortunately, unfortunately, he got a uh, bad kick there, and the cue ball scratched in the corner pocket on that break. Were you going to say something, Mike? Okay. We're putting Mike under pressure here to talk to you all. He gave us a good kapow that last break. All right, Johnny, what's Johnny going to do? Come Johnny's going to shoot the three ball in the corner pocket, and he's going to bounce out. He's a little bit straight on the four, yeah, I don't, I don't like think that. I'm going to give him much trouble because he needs an angle on the five to come back across table for the six ball. Yeah. Yeah, he'll just slide over. A lot of bottom, bottom English on that. Just kind of stop it. It slides. And what you viewers out there need to see is that all the opposite balls are on opposite sides of the table, so it's going back and forth across table is the key aspect of this rack. Now he's going to be kind of jacked up over the eight ball here. Sure is. You don't like to be jacked up over a ball, that's for sure, especially with the seven being where it is. But it's pretty natural. He's coming around for it. And he's in a fine shot there. Yeah, he's scratching his head. 
Real easy to overhit this ball and get on the 50-yard line. He has a couple options here. He can come three rails in that, back out past the center of the table, and that, or he can just come two Too rails across. Moving. Too much move in the cue ball. There you go. Easy does it. I mean, this is this is all Johnny does all day. This is his job, my friend. This is, he, you know, he's Bob the Builder out there. We hand this to Jr. 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 So we're gonna get uh, the break speed here after this next cracker. And Johnny Archer takes the game. Shannon Dalton's at 860. Johnny Archer's at 943. Johnny. Oh, Johnny. And this match is knotted up at four games each. Boom, bing. Let's see what Johnny's going to do here. Getting a little excited. I bet that was about 23. Kapow. 21.21 miles an hour. Thanks, Mike. Okay, Yanni's up with his yellow shirt on. Scorpion Q's, I believe is the Q he plays with. Out of Q Sticks International. Johnny's made a nice shot on the eight ball here and he's going to win game number nine. Well, Alvin, this has the makings of a Hill Hill battle as well. Yeah, I can tell we're going to be here for a while. They're going to be trading racks on and off. It's going to be break, run out, break, run out. Let's see how Shannon Dalton explodes these balls. Oh, 
We're going to see what Mike Basha thinks about the break, too, as well as gathering the break speed since he's right up there on the table. That is a very powerful break. Yeah, we'll see what Mike says about that one. What's the score? What was the speed? 23.04. This is actually one of his weaker breaks so far. He's been hitting 24 exactly or better most of them. Zap. And the one ball rolls. Shannon elected to play a safety there. I would think Johnny Archer is going to do the same thing. Perhaps uh, hitting the one ball, putting the cue ball behind the three and the nine. You should have no problem seeing what color ball is what out there on the TV, on the uh, Ustream. If you could tell what the seven ball is and what the three ball is. Johnny went for a sort of a carom two-way safety, and uh, he's left Shannon a shot uh, on the 1-8 combination. Thanks, Tiger's Eye. We threw a ton of, ton of light up there. Which he has made nicely. Falling nicely on the two ball. Uh, I think he's going to have a little difficulty getting down to the three. He's going to have to hit this ball with a lot of force inside English. Yeah, this is an interesting shot here, isn't it? He's gearing up for it. And he just hit a nice shot. He sure did. Watch and learn. He's going to roll out two rails out for the five ball. I'm saying it's six to four. I might go double check the score here. We're doing so many different things all at one time. It's easy to lose track of it, you know? I believe the score is five games to four. Okay. If Shannon wins this, it'll be 5-5. Uh, five, five. All right, I need to get focused getting the game. Six to four. No, I believe we're at five to five. Five to five, excuse me. Six five. Told you. Okay, the score is six games to five in favor of Johnny Archer. Brian White won the Brian White match, Debbie. to let you know. I guess his nickname is Thumper. Johnny's made a nice Abernathy. break there. Uh, I believe he has a shot on the two ball. It's going to be a very thin cut if he decides to shoot at it. If not, he'll just elect to play safe. That was 21.45 miles per hour.
Shaloop. That's a great shot by Johnny Archer. He had hit that ball pocket. with a lot of authority. Yep, that's what it sounds like when you split the pocket. It makes it this very distinctive sound. On these gold crown tables especially. Yeah. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Tommy Kennedy did not play in this tournament, no. TK from FLA. TK from TK. GA. I like his when he does the ball thing where he spins them all around the table and all that. Tommy's an amazing character. Whatever the name of that trick shot is, I can't remember. Oh, that's a very uncharacteristic error by Johnny Archer. Diggity dog. I guess Shannon's probably going to take advantage of that. Over there. Just been informed by J.R. Calvert that we will be in Cincinnati this next weekend. I'll be there with him. And uh, David will be there too, actually. This is my home pool room. It's where I Michaels. play out of. So tune in next weekend for that stream we'll be there partying and hanging out and having a great time and that's just i guess how life's gonna go for me for the next most definitely <laughs> a little while got to do the work though you got to do the work to have the fun so that's what we're gonna do we'll keep bringing you the stream Keep the stream alive. We're trying to keep this on a roll, JR and I are. Trying to keep it on a roll here. I mean, I've been on the road since July doing this. I've had very little time from doing these streams. There's all kinds of great YouTube videos out there. Quite a few people out there watching, too. This match is knotted up at six games each. Got 420 viewers. That's wonderful. Pretty heavy duty stuff there. I've seen it in several thousands before during finals of some of these events. I know Mika Eminem uh, shot a couple thousands before that I've seen. That's uh -huh. been a long time ago at the Derby. And just let all you viewers out there know, a thousand is absolute perfect pool. Yep, no errors. This is actually the first dry break of the match. Wow. The 13th rack. That was 24.27 uh, miles per hour. No, Mike's using a uh, iPhone to do that. Do that with, aren't you, Mike? Hmm? Using an iPhone. Uh, Android. Android. You get this application on anything though. It's called Brake Speed Pro. And it's like five bucks. So virtually nothing. Kapow. Kapow. He says. <laughs> We're enjoying this match with Shannon here and uh, Johnny, two friends of mine. I've uh, spent a lot of time with both these gentlemen. You have too. You lived with Shannon for a while, didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, years back, I lived with Shannon for just over a year and a half. Sure, that was a wild time. It was. Very wild, very fun. I learned a lot of things about pool and life. Shannon's had quite an interesting life, hasn't he? You can definitely say that again. <laughs>
Johnny's played this shot a little bit different than I would have expected. Just going to have to roll out to there to the side rail or go three rails around table, which he has elected to do. I think Shannon's Hall of Fame material, you know. Shannon Dalton is definitely, in my opinion, He's Hall for of sure Fame Hall of Fame material. material. I mean, he might not have the million titles, but, man, what a great icon of sports. I mean, he draws so many people into the sport as soon as they get to see his character and everything. I mean, he's, I mean, he's very amazing. quickly becoming an ambassador of the sport. Absolutely. Like he shoots lights out, man. What do you all think out there? You think uh, Shannon's Hall of Fame material? Let us know on the chat. I can already tell you that in a nine ball background, Johnny Archer is most definitely Hall of Fame material. Well, of course. I thought he already was in the uh, Hall of Fame. Johnny's in the Hall of Fame, right? Uh, both these guys will be in it if they're not. Is Johnny in the Hall of Fame? Johnny's in the Hall of Fame. He was just inducted uh, a year or two ago along with Allison Fisher. Nice. And Johnny Archer takes the lead in this match, seven games to six. Yeah, the Hall of Fame shouldn't just be your score, you know, your tally. It should be what you gave to the game. I'm not exactly sure what their, uh, what their criteria is for the Hall of Fame, but Johnny Archer, I believe he has come up with a shot on the two ball. Okay, Three we got ball might be giving him twenty one point seven zero miles per hour. Old Mikey man back there. Doing the footwork. Go to ProPool.com to check out all the stats from this match. We want to thank them a lot for their uh persistent upkeeping of the stats. And they're doing an excellent job, aren't they, David? Yes, they are. We would not be able to do this without them. Yeah, we appreciate all the uh, the work. Let's see what Johnny Archer elects to do here. I guess uh, Mr. Tiger Eye's got a three-month-old kid out there. Congratulations on that. I'm reading the chat while we're commentating here. I'm reading the chat more than I'm watching the match. I need to focus. I need to focus, Dave. I got to just focus, man. Just focus. Johnny's going to push out here. Now Shannon will have the option to give the shot back to Johnny or go ahead and take the shot. Shannon looked over at Johnny and said, I know what you're going to do. Shannon has played a safe. Uh, nice safe. For real nice. Actually, is uh, Snooker Johnny behind the five ball. Johnny's going to throw some extreme spin on this ball. And he totally missed the ball. He's going to click the 3-9. And just barely misses the scratch. Tosses the ball over to Shannon. He's going to take a seat. Doesn't look happy. Shannon's kind of doing his eyebrows there, his forehead like he does. Seems like he's getting a little tired, but they're still both hanging in there. 
This is when you make mistakes when you're tired. Dave King is Hall of Fame material, they're saying. <laughs> no, they're saying, the one guy saying he doesn't like think uh, Shannon's Hall of Fame material. I don't know, man. He's just, the guy's all over pool. I know, I guess technically they want a technical layout of wins and losses, right? They want to do it all scientific and everything. When well, I, think, I started out I winning think the characters. 98 Legends of One Pocket. Yeah, he's had some wins. Quite a few tournaments before that. Yeah, I mean, the guy's been playing pool for 20-some years. Yeah, you know, he definitely needs some more wins under his belt, but... I think as a character, I don't like. I said I don't think the Hall of Fame is just determined by your win loss. I think I think it's what you do for the game. But that's just my opinion. One lone pool fan. Johnny Archer has uh, forfeited this game to Shannon. And our score is going to be uh, tied up again at seven games apiece. I make him shoot the ball, man. I don't give up one ball. I'm not going to give up one ball for the dough, man. I've seen him miss it, man. I've seen him rattle it straight in shot, three inches away from the pocket. I bet you have too, huh, Dave? Uh, yeah, I sure have. Been on both sides of that. Shannon's stretching out. Now he's bearing down. Well, let's see what the speed of this break is going to be. Cue ball got kicked around, but I think he's going to be okay. Eight seventy-five to nine seventeen. 24.01 miles per hour. That's a nice safety by Shannon Dalton there. Do you want to do it for a while? Oh, you feel break speed, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, Johnny Archer has come up with a very nice safety as well here. Looks like uh, Mike Basha is going to come on with me right now. For those of y'all out there that don't know Mike, he's the one that's been doing uh, the, the radar on the brakes. Hola. What do you think Shannon's going to do here? Kick behind the seven, back of the deuce, try to stick him right there. I wouldn't be surprised if he was kicking to make this. Yeah, he, he's going to shoot at that ball. They're big enough pockets where he can get a little aggressive. He actually has not left Johnny much of a shot here. He 
You might have a safe bank in that backup table, sending the cue ball to the right of the six, up to the in rail. If you can just bank that two between the eight and the five, bring it back down to the other end of the table where the cue is now. It's a pretty simple shot. It doesn't look like he was lining up for that. No, looks like he wants to cut the two to the right. And that's a very nice shot as well. Yeah, played it well. Shannon the edge there, and that was just enough to hit him. Man, it looks like he's going to leave Johnny a shot. I wonder, can he see that whole ball? Shannon looked a little disappointed with it. Yeah, Johnny's shooting at this, as you can see it. He's come up and play the three ball in the side pocket. No, he actually went ahead and elected to play it safe. He must not have been able to see that because there's no way he wouldn't have shot at that. I believe he might have left Shannon a shot. Yeah, he's got him hooked. I think Shannon's about to go airborne. And he has the jump cue in hand. Wow, what a shot from Shannon Dalton. Never a doubt. Fortunately, I don't think he fell on the side of the three he would have liked. Actually puts him in a little bit of a bind. No, it looks like he's going to be all right here. Uh, he's just going to bounce off the rail. Uh, he's taking a, a longer look at it. Yeah, I don't think he likes it. If he doesn't, he's going to jack up and stop the ball right there and take the tough shot on the five. Right, yeah, he's, go ahead and play a safe. He's eyeing it up just like you're talking about, too. He's going to look and see where he'd end up if he would just stop it there. That will leave him a couple options. He could even cut at it if he was feeling real aggressive. It's like he's kind of gearing. Eh. He's very indecisive on this shot. Not what you want to see. He went for a cross side bank and then a two way shot, which I believe he may have left uh, Johnny safe. Yeah, he definitely got the hook. And again, if, if he didn't have enough angle to get over there, that was definitely the right shot. It, it was kind of hard to tell, but the way he was looking at it, I don't think he had the option to really get too far over for the five. Looks like Johnny might be able to see the, the side of this ball. He's certainly looking hard at it. This is such a thin cut if that's what he is shooting at. Uh-oh. He almost uh, made the <laughs> nine ball. Not quite what he was looking for, but that was a really difficult cut to swing at. Shannon doesn't have a great shot here. Uh, I think he could possibly play a cross side bank. If he's got enough angle, he could bank it and maybe swing up for the five in the left pocket. Let's see if he hits it enough pace, he slow rolls it. Uh, he could get safe if he misses it. 
Uh, he went for the bank. Uh, there was definitely no slow rolling there. <laughs> and he's going to leave Johnny a shot. Definitely looked like a bank right out of Somerset, Kentucky. Yes, it did. <laughs> No soft spin strokes for these guys when they bank. Johnny just sort of rolled that ball in with inside English. Uh, he's kind of on the rail here, but he's got a nice cut on the five ball. He'll go. Excuse me, one of two ways. Uh, back and forth up table, or he'll just slow roll it and come out to the middle of the table for the six ball. He elected to slow roll it. I swear I don't see Johnny ever miss those, those kinds of shots. Johnny elects to do here. He's gearing up while he's going to put some sort of stroke on this ball, which he has done. Great shot by Johnny Archer. Yeah, it's picture perfect. I really wouldn't expect him to do that. I figured he'd take a tougher shot on the seven, but he knows these pockets are big enough. He's actually moving balls from one pocket to another. Uh, as I said before, uh, I found out that's a method that calms him down, keeps him in focus. We are right at halfway through this match. Uh, this is an even race to 13. We are coming to you live from Goldsboro, North Carolina at the ninth running of the Carolina Open Tour Championship. It's been an absolute great event, Mike. Had a lot of fun being here. Played pretty well myself. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think it was probably fun for you. It wasn't so fun for me. I, I got beat <laughs> on like a rag doll. <laughs> I always get the good draws in tournaments, so you got to love it. And Johnny Archer takes the lead. Eight games to seven. Let's see if it works, man. I believe Johnny hit those a little bit softer than what he used to. No, 22.2 miles per hour he broke those balls. That's about what he's averaging. He said that's where he's comfortable hitting them. He doesn't need to go all out on a power break. And I believe he has a shot on the two ball. The only trouble ball here is going to be the seven. I think with the way the pockets are playing, he'd be okay with a combination, 7-8 combination there. And while Johnny's running out this rack, I'm going to take the time to say hello to Melanie and Haley, who have just joined in watching us now. For those of you out there that don't know me, I'm David King from Cincinnati, Ohio, in the booth with Mike Basha. Donkey extraordinaire. Johnny likes to do that to kind of keep his mind focused. One of his little pre-shot rituals. And this is less than favorable position on the six ball. Uh, he's come a little far for this shot. Um, I think he's going to be okay. He's just going to roll this ball in, slide to the side rail, and back out. 
Actually, he played it in the side. Uh, he's hit the point of the side pocket. He's going to have a difficult shot uh, being forced to play the 7-8 combination top right-hand corner pocket. And he looks a little disappointed with that outcome. I mean, that's better than scratching, but you know it's not where he wanted to be. He did have a rather tough shot on the six, though. Look at this. We have 418 viewers. 419. Well, thank you 419 times. And Melanie and Haley, I hope you're having uh, good success uh, logging on with us. Wow, he's going to get away with that. come quite fortunate to snooker <laughs> Shannon behind the nine ball there. That's not what he was playing. Shannon's just smiling at him. He, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> You heard the nice little grunt from Shannon there. Uh, these two have played each other several times. I'm sure they're quite used to it. Boy, Shannon lays his cue in the middle of the table there. Well, that is a beautiful piece of work. By Andy Gilbert, by Andy Gilbert Custom Cues, one of the co-sponsors of this event. That is a beautiful cue. About a year in the making. It's it's tough to beat. It doesn't get much better than that. No, it does not. Yes, he did. I played with the Sean for several years. As the, the subject of cues come up, I'd like to uh, send a nice shout out to the guys at Predator, my sponsor. Thank you guys very much for taking me under your wing. Looking down at the short rail, the other end of the table, I'd be surprised if he didn't kick this off of this long rail right in front of him, though. Got a chance to get safe. I think he'd hit this with some pace, too. He's going to have to. There's really no way to get safe here by just slow rolling the ball. And Shannon has missed the ball entirely. That's very uncharacteristic of Shannon Dalton. <laughs> he just said he played safe. And that's why I think he might have got away with that. I believe when he tapped the nine ball, uh, it does not go in a pocket. Looks like Johnny's going to have to elect to play a safe. He's got the option to bank it, I think, if he was feeling froggy. <laughs> I can I definitely would think he doesn't want to play a safe here. There's no reason to let a guy like Shannon back at the table if he doesn't have to. This is not the easiest of shots, especially under the pressure this far into the tournament. This is a pivotal game. He has banked the ball and made a wonderful shot. Johnny has a very big grin on his face right now, for those of you out there that can't see it.
Johnny's falling a little <laughs> short on his position here. He's left himself froze to the rail. Shouldn't be much trouble, though, for a player of Johnny Archer's caliber. And Johnny has missed the ball. And, uh, oh, he can't stand it. He's very, very aggravated. And that yeah. will tie this game up, or this matchup, eight games each. He knows how important that game was. That game was huge. Right at the midway point, somebody needs to establish some momentum. That was his chance. For lack of a better term, he sort of blew it on the nine ball. Awesome, man. Thank you. We appreciate Mike Basha for stepping in there in the commentary booth, giving me a little break, breakity break action. He's going to come back and continue to talk with you. Uh, Shannon Dalton is uh, taking a little bit of a break. It'll give Johnny a little time to cool off after that little outburst there. 8.85 and 9.09 is the uh, new stats. Shannon hitting 8.85, Johnny hitting 9.09. You ready, Chris? All right, Chris Adams is going to join us here. You're getting some uh, fan mail already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Greenville. He's one of Shannon's buddies. Well, Chris, this uh, match is uh, tied up at eight games each. I mean, Johnny has a look of disgust on his turn, face I got over a ball. there. They, I got fan mail right off the bat. Look, one, two, three, four. Love you too, guys. Everybody loves Chris Adams. Everybody loves Chris Adams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Debbie, please stop. That was last night. All right, here we go. I think we're back in action. Scores, I believe, 8-8. Eight to eight. Is that right, guys? Yes. All right. Johnny is a little upset, but I think he's cooled off, and uh, we're back. Mr. Chamberlain, how you doing, sir? Got the triple commentary going on here. Should be Debbie, interesting. Debbie, Debbie. You're the one that requested me to get up there and sing, if I remember right. Yeah, that was good singing you did. Yeah, thanks, guys. No problem. True talent. I had a few beverages last night. Beverages. Adult beverages. <laughs> Adult beverages, but they didn't really look... They were a little they were, feminine. They were yeah, you had some feminine. Did you see them? I had the 40-ounce mug with uh, pink Smirnoff in it. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd say that on live stream. You, might not, right. you might not catch it's too many more foo -foo. fans. That's all right. If they know me, they know me. It's a little foofy. All right. Comes Brian that. White. Broke Mr. the balls. White. He really doesn't have a shot on the one ball. I see him crossing over the one. I don't think I do, do not think no. he's going to play a combo, but he just Okay, Brian's going to join you. I'm going to be joined by Brian White, the king of the hill in this tournament. He crossed over to one and scratched. Oh. I 
Let's see if Johnny can get his composure back and go ahead and complete this rack. <laughs> Look what KK, what is that? Oh, kicking said that was the weakest call I've ever seen by Chris. I agree. That's all right. You go ahead and call. Were they talking about my call? Were you calling? Were you talking? About, let me see. Where's kicking at? If you were talking about that, I apologize, but I saw it that it uh, kicked off the rail, hit the ball. Then I did call a good shot when you hit that, Brian. However, uh, you didn't hit a rail, so that's why I said bad hit. I understand you say it went in. Please tell people just, okay, I made a mistake, and uh, but it listen, didn't cost you. Listen, so. at the end of it, when we look at it later, if I made a mistake, I'll say I made a mistake. But just like in all sports, people are <laughs> making mistakes. I was on the wrong end of that. And, know, about and if it grazed it, if it grazed <coughs> it going in, and I, I mean, it, it's one of those ones that you see in replays of pool that you don't see it with a bare eye. You know what I mean? I know, that's why I should have said to get behind. But I, you know, as well as I do, I can't change my call. Well, getting you back to the match here, it call. looks like Johnny Archer is going to go ahead and clear these balls out. Well, uh, he did miss a nine a second ago. He was stuck on the rail in Johnny's defense. There's not one of us sitting here that can ever say we've not missed a fairly easy nine ball before. We're getting a look from Nick Varner right now. That <laughs> the look on Nick's face is sort of... <laughs> He's ready for a nap. <laughs> Nick's been grinding all week with us here. It's he an absolute smiles. pleasure to have Nick Varner here. As you need to check out some of Nick's cues. They are magnificent. Tiger eye, Tiger's Eye says, never heard of a good, bad hit before. <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> but it was good for a minute. Then oh, that through. guy kicking said, you did change your call. Tell him kicking. I did change my call. Yes. Uh, hey, Nick Varner's sitting right here. And uh, do you have a website, Nick? Here comes Nick right now. Nick Varner's going to join us for a second. Hello, everybody. Kentucky Colonel. What's your website there? NickVarner.com. What do you get there at NickVarner.com? You can get just about everything for pool. Uh, you can get Nick Varner signature series cues and cases, and uh, you can get cloth, balls, accessories, uh, gloves, uh, just about everything to play pool with. I got it. Any other thoughts on the, the one pocket matches there? All the one pocket matches you were playing? I'm just uh, waiting yeah. to play the next one. Who? Nick Duncan. Nick Duncan. A, Just waiting to play uh, Shannon Dalton some one pocket here. All right, sounds good. Good luck. Any chance you might want to show Thank up you. in Cincinnati next weekend, Nick? Uh, Michael's Billiards. Yeah. Yeah, I won't be able to make that next weekend. Yeah, Nick. I don't think. Uh, huh? Touch myself and karaoke. I don't think I'll be able to make that. I'm going to be, uh, let's see, I'm going to be uh, at the uh, 8 Ball in uh, Columbus with Johnny Archer uh, Friday and Saturday. And then Toledo on Sunday. And then uh, Diamond Gems and uh, uh, Adrian Michigan on Monday. Well, you have a, so a lot of road ahead of you. Yeah. A lot of road. I'll tell you what, Nick yeah. is uh, very quickly becoming the hardest working man in the business. Fast. Faster Eddie? No, this is not the uh, finals. This is the uh, semifinals. Or actually, no, it's not. It's a quarterfinals. Yeah, they, they ran out of tater tots. The they did. Match is gonna go on I think play, I uh, uh, the last order of them uh, last night. JR and I had the last tater tots. Alex today. Olinger. <laughs> the winner of that match. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed them. Greatest comeback player alive, somebody wrote. Nick Varner. Thanks for the compliment. I was told actually by uh, Johnny Archer earlier in the tournament that he didn't want to have to play you late at night in the loser's bracket. He said he will safe somebody to death all night long and just grind it out. Mr. Chamberlain, I think if you show up, he'll play you even. He, don't, he, don't wanna, he won't even take the seven ball. Comments like that, he'll probably. Is that Bobby play. Chamberlain? Yeah, Bobby Chamberlain says he wants to give you the seven ball. Seven. I'm, I'm heading your way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading your way. Just, uh, Just 
just, just go ahead, uh, and, go ahead and uh, go to that ATM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So it's uh, good to be back at a tournament with Nick Varner. I don't think I've been at a, a tournament where he's actually played in since the Superman tournament of 2001 wow, in Metropolis, that is a Illinois. Long time. He said he remembers I, that. I believe that uh, is a long time. Did you uh, win that or second in that? Yeah, I won. I believe you won. You beat uh, Johnny in the finals, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's. I finished uh, seventh, eighth in that tournament. No, oh, did you? Buddy Hall really ran a nice tournament there. That was. It was a lot of fun. I was actually there with uh, Shannon Dalton. Yeah, I could have used my my cape in this tournament. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Johnny's going to pull ahead 10-8 to eight here. That actually calms Johnny well, down. Well, these pockets aren't real deep, so he's probably afraid one of them. What that does is calm Johnny down during a high-pressure situation. That's how he calms himself down. We'll have to ask him He that. picks the lint off the cloth. What's the lint? What's with the I've seen lint? him do that where he slides it across into another pocket. Well, he, yeah. uh... I promise you, you can walk right over there and ask Sean Putnam right now why he does that, and he's going to tell you the same thing that I just said. Each of us have our own ways of getting our nerves calm in a high-pressure situation. And that happens to be Johnny's. What do you do, Nick? What do you do in a like a high pressure situation? Run out. And just try to keep my head <coughs> on the object ball. Keep your head on the object. My eyes and head down my head down and my eyes on the on the on the object ball. Until the cue ball hits it. You guys know the score of this match? Uh, yes, it is uh, 10 games to 8 in favor of Johnny Archer. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a dog fight so far, hasn't it? Is that Sherry Bruner? I believe that's Sherry Bruner, Chris's mom. We got 25.05 miles per hour on that break. And that is a sheer sign of a lot of frustration coming out from Shannon Dalton. 25 miles an hour on that last break from Shannon. That's pretty good. Nick, have you ever had to hit the balls 25 miles an hour? Yeah. Shannon says, you're his idol. He's your favorite player. Well, that's quite a compliment coming from Shannon. I believe Nick Varner is uh, quite a few people's uh, favorite players. <laughs> quite who's a few. Your, who's your favorite player you said yesterday, I remember? Your favorite player. My favorite player? Yes. Who did I tell you yesterday? Shannon. And I have to stick with that. I told y'all who my favorite player was. Y'all couldn't believe what I said. My favorite player of all time, from from my experience and hanging out with him, was here this weekend, and he's not a pro. Kerry Dizzle Dunn. Oh. He is my favorite player. Now, my favorite, like, top player to watch is, you know, I'm a, I'm a young guy. I like Shane and uh, I like Shane, you know, but. Here you are talking about young, and you're as bald as a cue ball. Well, that's all right, because I can't change that. Girls like that, though. But, uh, like but Kerry, Kerry, I've been on the road with Kerry a bunch, and uh, Kerry's a lot of fun. He's funny. He's a true grinder, too, for an amateur that, you know, has been around pool, remembers all the stories, tells a lot of stories about pool from back in the day, so I haven't really got to hang around with a lot of people. So I'll tell you, when it comes to the legends of the game, to the game of nine ball, that it's a toss-up between the man standing in front of me, Nick Varner, and Buddy Hall. Buddy Hall. i, I never even seen him play live. I've played him <laughs> quite a few times in tournaments. It is not very much fun when you're sitting in that chair watching Buddy Hall run out. <laughs> yeah, there was a guy down in, uh, when I lived in, when I lived in Florida, there was a guy down there, Walter, and 
he had to play David Grossman, and uh, we were playing at a tournament in Jacksonville. And anyway, he says, I've been wanting to play you for a long time. And uh, he uh, he said, if I can just beat this David. So he ended up, he, he beat David, and then he played me, and, and uh, I beat him pretty easy. And he said... Uh, he yeah. said, "You know, this wasn't near mu- near as much fun as I thought it was going to be." <laughs> <laughs> Someone else says, "No bald remarks, please." Kerry is a grind. I believe I had that same that comment with David Howard at the Superman tournament, and uh, we had a hill hill match, and I, fortunately, I was able to overcome that. <laughs> and I was told that he didn't play quite like he used to by Shannon, of course, and he got up there and never missed. <laughs> Maybe Shannon was just trying to boost my confidence. Well, here you go. Uh, the score is uh, 10 to 8. Johnny has got a tough shot on the six ball. He's going to try to draw it back here, it looks like. Maybe side over. I can't tell from this angle. Oh, he missed the uh, ball. Oh, he almost. Tell you what, that looked like a tired shot there. Yeah, that's very uncharacteristic of Johnny Archer. But if you look at the ball, Shannon's really got some bad rolls in the set. A couple. Uh, I don't think so. And just to let everybody know, we're in the booth right now with Nick Varner, Chris Adams, Brian White, and David King. What's he looking at here? Is he running into the seven here? Or? He says... They're, asking, they're saying, tell them about the time that you robbed Little David. Did you play Little David? Yeah, it's been a long time ago. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah, that was Little in David. Ashland, that Kentucky. David That's been a long many moons ago. Hey, that was a great shot Chris there. Chris Kitchen's place in uh, Ashland, Kentucky. Hey. That's got to be about 30 years ago, or if not close to it. Well, when I was growing up, of course, uh, I really, uh, I really liked Luther Lassiter, and then uh, in my part of the country, there was a couple guys did a lot of exhibitions: uh, Jimmy Karras and Joe Bosses, and. Uh, and I really loved the image that those guys uh, portrayed for the game. And uh, they were also, uh, those three, three guys were always so nice to me. And, uh, and I had the most contact with them of uh, most of the older players. But those guys were really, uh, they really uh, got me excited about the game. The, uh, uh, did, you ever, did you ever play, uh, I'm sure you did, Eddie Taylor? Do you have a bunch of battles with Eddie? No, no, no. I never played Eddie. Uh, uh, Knoxville Bear, the late Eddie Taylor. Yeah, I saw him play when I was a kid over at Johnson City, but uh, uh, I don't know. I never, uh, I don't think I ever played even in a tournament that he was in. He, I think he was just a little bit older than me where he, he kind of retired, and I think he might have there for a while, too, when he he might have been able to still play or something. I think he had some problems with his eyes, I think. Uh, but I remember when I went to Johnson City the first time, I asked Luther Laster, I said, anybody play this Eddie Taylor Banks? And he said, not unless they're crazy. That's what <laughs> Luther said. So what would you have to say, Nick, would be your toughest opponent that you've uh, matched up with tournament-wise that over the last 20 years? Who's given you the, the hardest way to go in, in a nine ball well, division? Well, I'd say uh, Johnny. He'd definitely be close to the top of the list. <laughs> and then Mike, Mike Siegel, Buddy Hall. 
I thought Those Mike Siegel's guys, name might come up in that uh, question and, there. And uh, Earl. And, uh, and even uh, for a long time, Rempy and Hopkins. Is uh, Jim Rempy still playing? I think he's mostly teaching right now. King James. I saw him up at Valley Forge. He doesn't live too far from there a couple hours, I think, or two or three hours. And he came down one day, and uh, it was good to see him. I don't think I remember that, but. Uh, it's on the internet, actually, the video of it. We filmed it. Oh, did you? Yeah, me and Bryce were there filming it, but. Uh, yeah, have you ever seen anybody break their queue in half when they're playing you? No. I've seen it in my local pool room, but. Really? That happens from time to time. It's something you don't really. That was sort of in an action like match, not a tournament situation. But. That's one thing else I need to mention. Uh, Nick Farner is uh, going to be uh, the captain for this year's Moscone Cup team. That's right. Uh, who, who, who are all the players you have on the team this year? Uh, well, we got a great team this year. We got Johnny Archer, Dennis Hatch, Shane Van Boeing, uh Rodney Morris, and Corey Dua. It's really kind of uh, the same uh, uh, team as last year, with exception Rodney Morris came on and uh, replaced uh, Oscar Dominguez. So. We got another good team, and uh, and uh, this time we got to go back to uh, England, and it's always a lot tougher over there. The crowds are brutal. <laughs> uh, I heard that they shark while you're playing. Is that right? Or they're uh, they're pretty tough. They they take the the rooting for uh, Team Europe seriously, and uh, uh, see in the states too. The time frame works out real good because it's live in Europe and Asia, and. Uh, so we play 11 to 4 in Las Vegas, but over there usually we we've, we've always played split sessions and uh come the evening session uh, after uh the fans have had a few pints uh, <laughs> it's a, it's uh a it uh, gets a little rowdy a little wild, in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But uh everybody on the team uh I think they're pretty excited uh See if we can't make it two in a row because last year is the first time in four years the American team actually won the cup. They had a little bit of a down cycle there, and uh, and so last year it was nice to regain that cup. And this year we need to defend it absolutely successfully. <laughs> and you said it is going to be on European soil this year, yes, yeah, yeah it's going to be in East London. Uh, where I actually, it's a place where I played, I played four times in the Moscone Cup, and it's at Yark Hall, and I played all my Moscone Cups right there at Yark Hall. <laughs> That's before it started traveling. The last one I can remember watching was uh, back when uh, I lived with uh, Shannon, actually. Uh, it was the one that was in uh, Cardiff, Wales, I believe. Huh. I believe that's where it was at, the last one that uh, Shannon was on the team. You know, I wasn't on it when Shannon was on the team. I, I know they had the Ralph world Souffier. tournament. Me and him, <laughs> yeah, boy, that was something. Yeah, one year, uh, Shannon uh, and I stayed together over in Cardiff for the world tournament. And I rented a car. That was a big mistake. <laughs> 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 Didn't have an accident. I'll never do that again. We drove to downtown London and then uh, all over London and then... Uh, and uh, getting used to that left side of the road, that's a little tricky business there. I can imagine. <clears throat> All right, well, Shannon's going to try to get out here. Bobby, I haven't, uh, Bobby Chamberlain, I haven't heard from you lately on that seven ball. Uh, that would be uh, Nick saying, "World Pro, what's what's the word? You gonna play him some?" You know, I'm just right down the road, a few hours from you. Should I swing by for that seven ball? 
<laughs> They're all laugh out loud. They say he's scared. A lot of people are saying he's scared. Another one he says, says you ah. got it, Nick. In capital I got it. Yelling at you. Another one says, ask Nick what guys, his favorite question is. I haven't got the seven ball for a while. That sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, do you know Artie Boden, Bodenfer? Bodendorfer? Yes, I do. Plays real good. Plays real good, huh? He kind of is a grinding player. He's like, uh, <clears throat> he might be the ultimate grind uh, grind player. Are you saying he likes to play the wedge game? Well, he, uh, uh, he definitely likes to, uh, he likes to play on tough equipment and where it's hard to run, where the balls don't open too good and. All right, so that score now puts the score at Johnny Archer 11 and Shannon Dalton 10. It's going to be Johnny's break. This is alternate break format, race to 13. It's like I said earlier, Chris, I really believe this match has the makings for a hill-hill battle. Well, uh, at this point, Shannon would like to see that. I'm sure he's breaking on the hill. So uh, if he can somehow overcome one of Johnny's breaks and – uh, well, if uh, Shannon wins this game, that means he'll have the break advantage. Yeah. And you're right, if he gets on the hill. If he gets hill, hill. If Shannon wins this match for a long night, then we'll have to wait for some one pocket. Yeah, if he wins this match, who knows what time we're going to get out of here. Everybody that's left seems There's to be in. There's a break right there. Alex is in the background here. He's he's uh, wait, awaiting the the winner of this match, and uh, he says uh, it's okay if Shannon wins because he'd like to wear him down a little in a one pocket match. Yeah, Brian, he can, he can go take a nap. Good. Brian can hit, Brian can go to the room. <laughs> Brian can go forfeit. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> real, real later. <laughs> <laughs> real later, he said. Real late. All right, what do you see here, guys? I see him just skimming off the edge, or can he make I it? I see you're standing in the way, Alex, of Nick. Wow, that's not that going to That is it. not a good shot at all. Uh, I think he's going to – I think he can cut this ball in from here. That's where the cue ball goes. Does he go back and forth in a Z, though? Or can he kill it? I think he can just bounce right out. And right. he has a pretty good shot on the three ball here. Uh, I look for Shannon Dalton to go ahead and clear this rack out and get this to uh, knot it up at 11 games well, each. Well, the key is he's... Got to, he's going to have to go back and forth on this ball, get himself an angle to get down on the five, and then it should be okay. So let's see what he does here. He's got his angle. That's what I said that it was. He got a little bit on the rail, but. I think he's going to go two rails again. He's going to go two rails again. There's a couple things. First thing is out. Yeah, the five does go past the nine. And uh, Nick Varner's going to take a break, and yeah, hopefully he'll come back and join us for the final game of this set. Oh, wow. Well, Shannon Dalton's hit a wonderful shot right there. Got a little jelly roll. Johnny says that's good. And now 11-11, Shannon's break. Got a, he got a little love on that one. Let's make it 11 11. All right, we're going to hit Brian on the mic now. Brian, why back who's with your us? your favorite player? Me. Hey. <laughs> he said me. Uh, let's see. My favorite player. Let me think. 
Favorite favorite player that's won a, that's won something major. Let's say. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, I tell you, I, I know a lot of players, and uh, I really like Shannon. And I'll tell you why. Well, I'll tell you why. Um, of all the of all the great players I've ever been around, Shannon's the only one who uh, who, who doesn't look down on players of, of my we'll say in my caliber. You know. Uh, a good strong shortstop or whatever you want to call it. I mean, Shannon's always gave me a lot of props, whereas other players, they kind of act like... Insults you. Right. You are exactly yeah. right, Brian. I, I could not have uh, made that statement any better myself. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Shannon Dalton, and obviously I have never played as good as him, and he has helped me so much. I, I couldn't make a ball for a long period of time, and... He never looked down on me for that. Uh, all he ever did was try to help me, try the to encourage me. Was 22 miles an hour, yeah. almost 23. I played. Uh, I played Jeremy Jones about uh, uh, about three months ago. Jeremy gave me 10-7 playing one pocket, a pretty big set. And uh, everybody that I heard talking about the match kind of thought he was going to rob me. And Shannon was the only one who actually showed any kind of faith in. Uh, I guess the way I play or whatever. So, so I kind of always appreciated him for that because uh, I don't know. He just, uh, you know, he doesn't downplay just because he's a great player. He doesn't downplay the way other other people play. He kind of gives them credit where credits due, which I'm telling you, not everybody does that. I'll tell you, you've been known to be a uh, pretty good gambler. That match up quite well. That quite tough. That Brian. So. Uh, There'd be no reason for anybody to downgrade you at all, that and your ability. I've played you a couple times. We've had a couple close matches uh, in a couple other tournaments. And I'll tell you what, man, you're, you're rock solid, bud. Brian White plays good one hole. I don't think he can spell one hole, really. Johnny got a little unfortunate uh, clip off the six ball there. It's a race. It's a race. That's who. Who do you like here, uh, Brian? Is I, I'm color blind, man. Is the, the two, is he hooked? This is the is two. he shooting at the two? Oh, so the two's in the middle of the table. Okay, I got you. so he can see. I got you. Another unfortunate roll that he got that far down on the bottom rail. Uh, Mars, man, if you're asking me, I think you got me confused with uh, the guys you're talking about are on a little bit different level than me. That's a nice shot he made right there. He was uh, very fortunate to come up with a shot after that as well. I think he's just gonna he's just gonna make this ball. Oh, okay, Marsh. Just make the ball, play, let it drift over, make the five off the nine, six. Well, let me ask you this, but it's, but it's on the other side of the pocket, so wouldn't you think that, uh, oh wow, oh, I can't tell how that lays, I mean it looks like it'll go on the side, 
I can't tell if it's a hanger or not. It looks like it's just going to fall right in off the knife. If he's not hooked. You're going to hit it on that side. Yeah, he's just... You can't catch the rail first. I'm telling you, that's... Uh, no, you're going to have to you make hit it pretty good. shot here. And the, I don't I'll, think you can miss it. If, he's, if you hit the Oh, nine, I promise you, he could. If he hits anywhere on the left side of the nine, he's going to miss it. Where's the cue ball going? Is he, oh, he's he's going to draw it. He's going to draw it and shoot the six in the same pocket. Great shot by Johnny Archer there. Oh, he hit it too hard, but it worked out good. There he goes. You see Johnny balls moving over. balls around. I what, told you. what that does is calm his nerves down. I know what it does. Look at that on a high pressure situation. The OCE kicking in. All great pool players are OCE. And Johnny is going to go to the hill first. Score 12, 12 games 11. to 11. That's an exciting match here. I predicted a hill hill battle. Destiny yep. from the break. 12 11. It's coming down to it. We've got five commentators here. And we're all having a great time in the booth. still going to have the semifinals of the nine, nine ball as well. Yeah, we may be here a while. We have our work cut out for us. I told, uh, I, I actually went and grabbed something to eat with Alex a few minutes ago, and I told him <laughs> if somebody double dips me in the finals, we're going to be here to like three in the morning. Are you talking, that's, are going to be here to five or six? It's a pretty nice break by Johnny Arch. Let's see if he comes up with a shot. I believe he has. He's going to be uh, jacked up over the six gonna, ball a little bit. Pink break cue for over a year. He must love it, huh? That's a nice shot by Johnny Archer. Well, I there. thought, how can anybody resist playing a guy that breaks with a pink cue? I think, uh, I think uh, Johnny's going to get out here. What do you think? Let me see how these balls are. I'm going to tell you one thing. Bounce uh, off the side rail here. No, I said. Three. No, you guys were mentioning earlier about uh, what players people liked, and I said I like Shannon as far as a you know a person, but as far as uh, to, in my opinion the best American and the best American for the last ten or twelve years, and the person that I like to play like. I mean, uh, I try to emulate their style is Johnny, uh, and the reason I bring that up now is because. Um, for my for my money on the hill, I, there's nobody else in the world I'd want running the balls for me. In other words, I, if if uh, I may go jump off a bridge if he misses here, it just probably ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I would have to agree with you 100% on that statement there, Brian. And it's for a hard battle. You gotta remember, he saw his one pocket. It's been a long tournament. Yeah. Plus, he's hosting the event. So. Keep his composure. He's going to draw it back or just stop it? I think he's going to draw it back. No, he just he proved us all wrong. I thought he had less of an angle than that. He just stunned it up. Let's take a look at his angle. And that Johnny ball, Archer will win the match 13 games to 11 and advance on. Uh, 
Uh, and this is David King, place. along with Chris Adams, Brian White. I'd like to thank you for joining us for this broadcast. Uh, we'll be back with you very shortly here for the semifinals, uh, finals of the one pocket, and finals of the nine ball. This may sound sadistic, but I'm pulling for Johnny the rest of the way, baby. I want to do battle in the finals.